Good morning, USA, and welcome to the Bernie or Bust show. Have a cup of coffee and enjoy the conversation. I got a new yard sign from Vistaprint. This is not from the organization itself. I put this out on my lawn yesterday and I take it back in every time because I don't want anyone to steal it. I want to talk about the idea that Bernie or Bust is not just a way to tell people that you want Bernie Sanders for president. It's also a strategy. The book, Bernie or Bust, Pioneers of Electoral Revolt, describes a strategy, a, a leverage strategy. I've been talking about snarling Democrats and others who, who could for any reason vote for a corporate Democrat for president. And also we'll talk in the future about how the system is rigged against insurgents. How I think I said something yesterday about how for a hundred years the Democrat Party has been rigged against political insurgents. So to unrig the system, we need a strategy. So those who sign the Bernie or Bust pledge are sending a message to others on the left that it has to be Bernie. That's uh, controversial. That's why people sometimes are, are upset by... I'm not crying, really. <laughs> it looks like I'm crying. Other people are upset because you you shouldn't be able to leverage them. Everyone should be able to vote for the candidate of their choice, which is true. The problem is that the pain and suffering caused by neoliberal candidates on both sides of the political aisle has has made life desperate for many Americans financially, socially. We're, we're in, in a world of hurt and the comfortable voters don't always understand that. So this is a revolutionary strategy. This is, as Bernie would say, enough is enough time. So um, if Bernie or Busters seem a little too urgent or strident for your taste, it's sometimes based on real desperation. So if you take the Bernie or Bust pledge, it means that you are pledging not to vote for a corporate two-faced sock puppet. And the numbers of people who have taken the pledge from last time are roughly 47,000. So this movement is a big deal. If you uh, follow the sign and go to bernieorbus.info, you'll land on this page. I remember once getting this guy to float. Float. There. Hey, that's nice. All right. So you'll come to this page. And it doesn't seem, and I'm, I'm working with, with um, Victor Tiffany, the founder of Bernie or Bust. I would like to find on this page a pledge. I made a pledge that leads to the 2020 pledge and also to a, a donation page. This is the sign the Bernie or Bust 2.0 pledge. If you go there, you'll end up on a form that gives Victor a database for people, new people who have taken the pledge. This pledge only has 248 people, but Victor's pledge has a lot more. So if you go to this link, I'm going to I'm going to link to this change.org petition in the in the information section of this video. 
because you can't get there yet from this page. If you take Victor's advice from this page and, and go view the videos about how the strategy works, you'll end up on this Facebook page. And you'll be, if you scroll, scroll down, you'll find a number of videos where Victor explains the Bernie or Bust strategy. Also, you'll get some history of the movement and the book also gives lots of history as to how this movement got started and how it was supposed to work and how it is working now. It's an interesting story. Have It, it wasn't always smooth sailing. Back on this page, most people have no idea why the U.S. needs a revolution. I explained that in the first video. The book tells more than the story of how the original founders, Victor Tiffany and Patrick Walker, accomplished getting the movement started. It also tries to correct the record of distortion. A lot of people don't like Bernie or Bust, and so a lot of misinformation comes out and the book and the videos explain and undistort all right that's about all i've got for you this morning if you click on that link in the information section you'll be able to sign the pledge and purchase the book and if you want to lawn sign or a t-shirt or a coffee mug or anything I recommend Vistaprint um, and you can use the graphics I'll put some graphics or links to graphics in the also in the comment section in the information section of this video keep on busting